Hey guys, and welcome to the Series 24 event, Chevy to the Levy. And it's going to be B700 Road Racing, and it's going to be Chevrolet. Yay. And these are the tracks we're going to be using. Well, yeah. Oh here, God! Here comes you. No. What am I saying? Of course you are. <sighs> if if she was my neighbor, I would like dig a cellar, or a basement. And and I would chain her down there, and gag her and torture her. To death, and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, moving right along. Never mind. <sighs> the rattle trap. Yeah, I think that's kind of funny. American 70s car. Oh yeah, it's gonna rattle. Uh and these are my settings. I have disabled traction control and stability control. And let's start. And it handles like uh, like you would think a 1970 American car would. It is like driving, I don't know, a medium-sized ferry using a two-horsepower outboard engine. Um, yeah. Or moving the the moon with your mind, it is gonna be slow going. And I have tried my very best to to make it nimble. It is. It will never be. It is pretty fast though, but. Nimble? No, no, it isn't. In all of this, there's absolutely no need to use any form of brakes on this part. Just full steam ahead. Yeah, that's it. Driving an American car from this era is kind of like trying to turn a train when the tracks goes, are going straight. It's not easy and sort of feels the same way driving this. It's big, very, very big. Oh, let's get this over with. Now, the first part of this is on compact, com compressed, compacted, whatever, snow. And, eh, that's not so good. But we will try.
Okay. I tried putting snow tires on. That, that, no. No, no, no. Uh, that made it even more impossible to steer, actually. Uh, the grip went up, but damn, it was slow. So I skipped that idea again. And it is, like you see now, we're on well, salty tarmac or whatever it's supposed to be. And it's fine on that. It's only this com compacted snow here. Compressed snow, whatever you want to call it. That's really... Yeah. High speed turning on this is, is not so good. Steering is affected badly, uh, acceleration is affected, braking is affected, but apart from that, it's very good. There's nothing left. I know. I mean, uh, muscle cars whatever you want to call them from this era uh, and older like late 60s early 70s they look really good and they sound really good and they drive like oh my god or they handle like really like a, yeah they don't really also, they have the aerodynamic properties of a brick. And they actually steer like one, too. You can't steer a brick. Exactly. And when I, when I said that muscle cars sound good, I don't mean in this game because they don't. I mean, listen to it. it sounds like a Ford Mondeo. And, and, oh my God, a Chevelle? It shouldn't sound like a Mondeo. That's just wrong. Oh, that's nice. Just push me off the road, why don't you? Top tip, there's a little bit of runoff area here you can use if you want. So you don't have to break so hard for that corner.
But hey, at least the paint job looks really cool. As usual, and there's no point for guessing who made it. Uh, it's of course uh, my guy Shu Aber, who is also, I think, maybe going to do the cars for next week. Or, well, the paint jobs for the cars for next week. Hopefully, maybe. I've given him the list. If he's actually going to do it, that's another thing. Ah, there we go. Chevy to the levee. Yay. And there we are. Now, to business. Yes, yes. I was using the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle Super Sport 454. And the tune I'm using was this one. And the share code. There you go. And remember, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it. And the same goes for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.